thanks for everyone thanks everyone thanks everyone for watching this crazy video i do this kind of hello everyone and welcome to mathematics galaxy so today we have this problem this is a very famous problem by mr ramanujam so as you know that ramanujam is indeed a indian mathematician who works hard in mathematics but died pretty young who made ghrd blah 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 but this is a problem which is sometimes called the nested i think uh, the radical iteration okay why it is nested because it has some finite value we're gonna prove it or we're gonna uh, prove it by assumption or you can say by intuition the w the beautiful thing is that everything is under some radical okay this means the square root of something of course there are square root square root square root and so on why nested that's a uh, thing nested means that everything is concentrated on one thing okay and we're gonna see this so of course this is iteration so we're gonna see what gonna happen okay so when uh, Ramanujam did this it was done in 1911 I think so 1911 by of course famous mathematician Ramanujam so so how to see this uh, and how to let's say that uh, how to see the what intuition behind this we claim I mean not I claim Ramanujam claimed that the value of the whole thing is just lies behind this 1 plus 2 this means 3 and we claim that the whole value is in the 3 I even surprised when I heard this but truth is true okay truth hurts sometimes you don't understand what is this but really it is 3 you cannot believe when I do this okay let's begin let's begin okay so at first let's write it down so this is just formalities to you know start from the end okay this is that kind of thing so okay at first uh, let's clear this up my board is pretty short and that's why i have to write it down and sometimes erase it off so what is 3 3 means uh, root over of 9 as you know it's pretty simple so we see this this what is 9 1 plus 8 okay? 1 plus 8 now the magic happens now the magic happens what is 8 8 means 2 into 4 1 plus and here is 2 and here is 2 into 4 okay you can see this and this and now we're gonna write it this so again back here from here to here okay 1 plus 2 into 4 means root over 16. Understand? It's pretty simple. What is this? That 1 plus 2 into what is 16? Means 1 plus 15. Okay. So 1 plus 15, but we can write 15. There is 3. This means 3 into 5. And this this iteration goes on and on. And just I have to take the uh, the last line of it, and then I'm gonna leave it to you. You can do it all day long because. Now it's locked down, you have enough time to, uh, I mean, uh, doing this because it's when it's locked down, you can do whatever you can and you can do these things. So 1 plus 2 root over of 1 plus 3 into what is 5 root over 25, okay? And we can write down this 5 just like this 1 plus 2 root over of 1 plus 3 into uh, what is uh, 25? 1 plus 24, okay? So 1 plus 24 but we can write 24 there is 4 this means 4 into 6 4 into 6 and this 6 okay first it was 4 then it is 5 and now 6 7 8 so on and on okay this is how the thing goes on and I have to get some props over it okay it goes on only. so that's how it is that's so simple it is and the value is exactly 3 okay but uh, this is i mean i would say this is just uh, the you can say the intuition but there are some proofs uh, there are no i would say them that i mean some literal proof but there are some proof for the nth term so let's do it so if you don't understand this just uh, pause the video and you will understand everything so 
let's uh, try to write down the what is the nth term of it okay okay so what is the nth term so what you need to prove that uh, root over of 1 plus i think 2 into i think n plus 1 square okay this now we can write this in a simpler form like this <coughs> remember this okay so now what we can do okay so that's uh, the question pretty big question so okay let's write it down i don't think so it's one because if you talk about this okay let's write down the first line what is this that one plus eight this means one plus uh, i think two into four okay so this means uh, two plus two is two simple pretty simple so what is n plus two so we can break it down one plus remember this one plus okay now <coughs> again there should be some roots over it okay so how can i prove this there should be some n plus one because it's in n plus one and over this n plus three both square so that's how it is you can forget these things because these things are pretty i think i would say complex so that's how the sequence goes on and on here is n plus two here is n plus three and so on let's you put the value of n is 1 okay so let n equal no not 1 n equals 2 then what happens that 1 plus 2 into what is this you can see this and of course I just uh, even even just rewind the video and you can find this thing of course this term is uh, indeed 3 so that's how simple it is so Ramanujam did this of course Ramanujam uh, actually did uh, some crazy things uh, which is pretty and uh, non understandable to the mathematicians of course he is a number theorist and he did these beautiful things uh, over and over again time and time again with the book uh, of course he read uh, I think one, at least one book so that's how it is thanks for everyone Thanks everyone, thanks everyone for watching this crazy video. Uh, I do this kind of mad stuff on my board. So my board is pretty small, so that's why I to use this, use this towel to write this up. So thanks everyone for watching this and if you really like this then share uh, with your friends, with your family, with uh, with some with any, with anything. And of course in lockdown stay home, stay safe and do this kind of crazy stuff. So goodbye. See you in my next video.